Right, what's up everyone? Here we are with another value challenge. We've done Scarabs, we've done Jade. I don't know if we've done Kane before, I don't think we have. So we're going to do some Kane value challenge. Um, in terms of squads, we've decided that each model will have its own value. So if we kill a Flamer... Actually, that's a good point. If we kill a Flamer, we get 13.3 recurring value. <laughs> that could be a problem. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll, I don't know, we'll say 13 per Flamer slash Shock, and then 40 for the whole squad. So the last guy's worth a little bit more. Who knows? Who knows, man? Anyway, we're basically just going to be tallying up how much cane value we can get during our games. That's what the, that's the name of the game. The name of the game is get as much cane value as possible. We are looking for, we are looking for cane to kill things, and then make at points off of them. Killer Muskrat. I'm feeling good about Diamond and Yang. This could have some tech units in it. Three, you two, want a double half Basilisk deck to take games three. late. That's an interesting point. You could maybe play a tech deck. But then occasionally, we're on ladder, so occasionally we'll queue into like people in Tiberium. And then if I'm playing a double half Basilisk deck, I'll get absolutely crushed. So there is some downsides to the you double half play. basilisk plan. I think we want this guy to get to tech. That seems pretty clear. We want to get, we want him to get to tech, and we want to obelisk his tech. Do we need to win the game? Previously, we had rules with the scarab that you have to win the game to get the value. Do we have to win the game to get the cane value because that does change things. Harvester, I mean, if we win, I'm pretty cool. I mean, I'm a rival's veteran and I've learned that killing a Harvester is akin to winning the game. Definitely have to win. Yeah, we can't play a terrible deck then with double Harvester. We have to actually we have to get kills with the Kane and still win the game. Kind of hard to get kills with Kane when I'm pushing him back into his base. Maybe I shouldn't do that. What happened to the missiles that were up here? Didn't he have missiles? Yeah, there they are. <laughs> uh, there's nothing to cane, man. There's nothing to cane. Oh, here's a disruptor. That is, uh... That's actually not something you can really cane. That, that thing will kill an obelisk in one hit. That's kind of awkward. I think it fires faster than the obelisk as well, so you can't even, like... I can't even shoot an obelisk at it. Classic disruptor there. Too far away, I can't obelisk. This is, uh, this is very upsetting. Here's some zones, we can obelisk them. They're worth quite a lot. Wait, the game's about to win. Oh, easy. That's one, one zone trooper. Two zone troopers, feels good man. Let's see if I can get this disruptor with the obelisk. Come on, get on the pad mate, what are you doing? Yeah, there we go. Go on obelisk, go on. Boom! Alright, that's probably enough value for one game. <laughs> Zones plus disruptor. We can probably, we can probably call that a win. <laughs> Mad value. It is a risk versus reward situation, from TV. That's the that's the thing. I decided that 240 cane value was enough to move on with life. We can compare it at the end to how much jade value we got. What's up, coach? Hey, skull going double harvester. That bodes well for our obelisk value. Oh, sorry, mate, it was wheels. So I like the coffee pot. I loved it, Coach. I was a big fan. I would like it if you could send me more of the same in the future. That would be great. Bro, oh, here comes random air unit that I struggle to beat. What's it gonna be? No air units? Alright. Easy first missile. There, it's a mohawk. That's not one that's going to beat. That's very easy to beat. 
Raids are back is a bit more difficult to deal with. Wow, this guy just doesn't care at all about his Razorback. I've never seen someone care so little about their poor Razorback. But Razorback didn't deserve to have such a savage ending. <laughs> stealth, mate. <laughs> That's why it's called a stealth tank. <laughs> uh, there's nothing to obelisk, man. There's nothing to obelisk. He only makes air units. This is so sad. How am I supposed to get obelisk value when he only makes air units? Literally has not made a. He's only made like cheap infantry. I guess we'll make a third stealth tank. They seem pretty good in this matchup. We're just testing out. We're testing out Mohawk spam as a strategy. Didn't really work out against the old stealth tank. When every unit in your deck gets one shot by a stealth tank, your deck's probably not very good. Wow, no value. No value. He only made air units. What a beating. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective received. Rojin. This guy is in Master League and he's playing Solomon, so I'm feeling real good about the chances of there being some tech for us to shoot with our obelisk. Bro. The problem is, of course. Old Solly man, if he has uh, if he has good tech units, and then he ha he can so he can iron, iron cannon my obelisk. So if I'm relying on my obelisk to kill his tech units and he's iron cannons it, we just lose. He's no half. He's no half. Mg Solomon. Why would you play Solomon? All right. Well, at least we can get some obelisk value. Here comes thirty. Pew! Give him a fire the obelisk. That's 60. Let's go, man. We're getting mad value. Come on, control. I get five from each missile trooper I kill as well. So I've got a grand total of five there. Feels pretty good, man. Easy worth. Easy worth. Obelisk, obelisk value for days. Alright, we better save up for another obelisk. Do you think this guy intended to go no half, or do you think that was like a mistake? I guess it was a mistake. Ah, <laughs> <Mission laughs> oh, feels bad, man. Top Lord start. I think I'll harvest the first on this map. His rifles are in for a world of hurt. Where are they going? Oh, that's the rifle dead. I could obelisk this pit bull, but it risks, it risks losing the first missile pretty badly. I'm trying to save up for an obelisk here. In case I need to make one. Or, you know, want to make one. Which is way more likely. I hope Jonas makes a unit that I can obelisk soon. Razorback? I can't obelisk that one. Maybe I need to play a deck that's less good on the ground so people make more things from the obelisk. Like if I played an air-based deck with Kane, 
People would definitely be like making like stealth tanks and stuff to kill me. Probably should have just made obelisk instead of stealth tank yet. Uh, yeah, I don't, that one was not, that one was not well played for the old obelisk value. What is the best deck to play if I want obelisk stuff? Right, we quick deck to try and get more cane action. I think John plays a deck that is uh, very caneable. Although, I feel like he plays Inferno. Inferno is not very caneable. Unit ready. Unit offline. And uh, camera rays are so slow. I guess they never got the speed boost that Flames and Shocks did. I think I'm only a stealth tank. Looks like he's saving for an Inferno here. Such a long time without a unit. Gotta be Inferno, right? Two years, my dude. Oh, as he's still fired? Bro, I really felt like I got him there. For you. That was kind of savage. Oops. Oh, I messed this one up. Oh, boys! Oh, so close! Let's go. All right, feels good. Now, now we gonna, how we gonna obelisk anything? Into obelisk chuggies, I guess. It's the best value. It's really hard to get obelisk value without throwing the game. And we need to win. Obelisk in Inferno. Oh, hello, mutants. I can obelisk them. Hopefully, you get to obelisk the mutants very much. I'm obelisking these, uh, these rifles, though. That's pretty good value, right? I think there's one more mutant. I feel like I should be playing uh, Phantom in this deck. Check my obelisk. Victory requirement is uh, <laughs> it's really difficult to uh, let me change. Oh, here we go. We can get the now. I got some things. I got some things. I got a bike there at the end as well. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how much that was. Colonel Envy. Unit 
Wheels and rifles, exciting. How do you open the rifles if you have both? Isn't opening wheels better? Tick tank, oh yes, tick tank is great for us. Tick tank is something we can very much obelisk. I wonder if I should like leave the obelisk to be killed by the tick tank. Uh, to be, I kill leave the tick tank. Sorry, to be killed by the obelisk. Wow, even with uh, bike support, the lasers lost that fight badly. Oh, missed the obelisk. Oh, I'm gonna lose the missile now. Feels bad. Missed the opportunity to obelisk. Sad. We're gonna get two tick tanks. Very exciting. Oh, so bad, man. It's all bad at the game. Is there a stealth tank? Oh, obelisk? Obelisk value? Oh, baby, let's go. That's some stacks of obelisk value right there. We've got a stealth tank and a tick tank. Do we get, we've got both tick tanks and a stealth tank? Feels good, man. Can't get this guy, it's too far away. I need this tick tank to move in. Ooh, baby, another tick. Let's go. Tick value, I mean, cane value, I guess. Why is the obelisk not killing the tick tank? Does it take more than one shot to kill? The fuck? It doesn't one shot? <laughs> is it seriously not one shot? Oh my god. No! You have to be kidding me! Oh my god. The fucking stealth tank! Ah. Alright, I guess we get zero shots, man. Oh my god. It's so sad. Well, that's ruined my day. You have to reduce points now? Yeah. I don't get any points for that game. I have to win to get the points. That was dumb, man. My stealth tank just retargeted the Venom. I think it was probably my fault. I tried to shoot the one that was moving across, but I'd already fired a shot. And that literally cost me the game. So dumb.
Didn't we have like 2k in value jading? I don't remember. It's actually like way harder to get value with uh, with Kane. Because it costs so much and it only hits ground. Like Jade, you can just like make a make a chem warrior and blow something up. Oh my god, dude! I give up, man. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm terrible at the game. Is that a basilisk? We're gonna lose this game as well, aren't we? <laughs> I think maybe part of the issue is that this deck is awful. That might be like some of, some amount of the problem. This deck is like really, really bad. I don't know why Ensor plays this deck. Wow, imagine losing the missile to lasers with a flame tank. That's crazy. I think I got like one flame tank in that game with, with Kane. This has not been not been good caning. Alright, Seb. Let's see if we can get some Kane value against Seb. Been really underwhelming so far. I gotta say, like we've not got a good cane value in the in these games at all. It seems surprisingly difficult to actually cane things. Like people don't usually really cane. Like cane exists to kill predator tanks. That's kind of it. So unless my opponents play predator tank, he doesn't really do much. Is cane bad? No, I think cane's decent because it kills predator tank, which is one of the best GDI units. But that's all it does. Like, you play Kane to kill Predator Tank. That's the only reason it's in your deck. And it's very good at doing that one thing. But that is the only thing it does, really. It's not actually good versus anything else. Like, it's not very good against two range units because they are you like they can just stay outside of its range. You don't have to put a two range unit within Kane range. On most maps, you can win without doing that. But that's really all. I mean, like, I can cane like this. I can cane this rhino. That's, who cares, right? <laughs> I'll probably be able to cane the MLRS when it moves in. It's for Pitbull and APC. Mm. Yeah, I guess. I don't really play decks that struggle with Pitbull and APC, though. My cane decks tend to have tank. Which means you don't lose to either of those things anyway. Why is this guy not moving up? Like, how am I supposed to cane this? The game is about to end, bro. You haven't moved your MLRS up, the game is about to be over. Finally. Very, very underwhelming. Very underwhelming cane action so far. It's been very disappointing. Cane is too restrictive. Like, you can't. You can only really get mad value out of cane if you're behind, because then you can put it where they're. Their stuff is on the middle pad. You are victorious. Such a weird number. It's such a weird number when we're getting the value out of the New out of the partial credit. <laughs> the partial credit on units. Our value is terrible though, currently. I think when we did Jade, when we did Jade and Scarabs, uh, if we killed like the end of a squad, we can we counted the whole squad value. But obviously Kane, you can't really do that because Kane, Kane kills a single model at a time. Whereas Jade and Scarabs would kill whatever was left. But yeah, it's been a poor showing for Kane. Could have played that deck, Mud Pusher, it's true. The problem was there was the stipulation of winning, so I couldn't play uh, couldn't play a deck like that. 
It takes so long to cane as well. You can't like you can't fire off a cheeky cane first missile because it's just way too expensive. If you try and cane first missile, you normally just lose the missile because of it. This guy has tech, right? We've seen two harvesters, so there could be something to Kane if we keep the guy. Here we go, disruptor again, though. Disruptor is not really what I want to fight. I mean, I think a disruptor will kill a Kane power before it fires. Let's find out. Yeah, okay. I mean, do we even count that? The Kane didn't kill it. I'm surprised Kane doesn't want to kill a disruptor. That is new to me. But yeah, we can't. <laughs> we can't fight Disruptor with Kane, so I guess that's like another zero. <laughs> Enemy base destroyed. Same guy. This is really bad for us. This guy's deck is. We don't want to Kane this guy. Wow, Kane has done awfully. Ten games, and we've got like 600 value from Kane. That's uh, average of killing 60 co 60 cost of units per game. It costs 110 for an obelisk. That means if I'm using my obelisk every game, it's it's barely making like 50% value. That is upsetting for Kane. Why does this rock to have so many hit points? <laughs> That's too many hit points, man. It's not Ice's fault that Kane didn't do well. We just didn't... Like, we didn't play against, like, Titan, you know? I just want to play against, like, Titan and Zone and stuff. Well, here comes the disruptor. Well, we can kill the disruptor with a cane shot now, except that we need to time it right, because otherwise the disruptor kills the cane tower. Or the game could just be over, that works too. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Kane, you can do it. Yeah, let's go. Some value. <laughs> Some value. <laughs> wow, that was weird. Nice iron cannon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we did 10 games and that's all we got with Kane. Oh my god. Let's uh let's quickly go and check the Jade and the Scarab for a comparison. What have we got? We got Jade Splosion. That's is that it? I don't remember which video it was. And then we had a scarab. We had scarab, a scarab value challenge as well, right? The scarab farms. Let's go and have a quick look at what our value was on those. So scarab kills at the end of a five-game run was one thousand and seventy. I don't remember how Jade did, but scarabs, scarabs had almost twice the value in half the games. <laughs> so sad, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the cane value anyway, even though we didn't get as much cane value as I'd like. I guess I'll see you next time.